The crypto market is down from a high of $47,000 in March to a low of $17,000 in June. Everybody is panicking and everybody is selling. But not me because in this video I'll be purchasing some crypto currencies and I'll show you the platforms that I know use to make this possible. But before I do, let me talk to some friends and see what they think about the current market. How we doing bro? All right, so I'll go on daily. So I'll go on Tucker. You invest in crypto. So what do you think about the current market crash? It's literally a opportunity where the market is resetting itself. And like, mm -hmm. unless you've been in crypto for a while, mm -hmm. you wouldn't really understand that. Like a lot of people would actually see it as a crash. But like, to be honest, bro, these are the times when millionaires are made. So I have always expected that the market's gonna go down. But when it dips below 20,000, that was where I was a little skeptical. I didn't really think that it would have dipped below 20,000. Never saw that part coming. Below 20,000, that's what I didn't see coming. If we were paying attention to like the policies, we would have seen it coming. Mm -hmm. because when there is interest rates that makes capital more expensive mm -hmm. but i mean looking back it's always going to look very clear so we take this as a lesson going forward we can understand what causes the market to go up what causes the market to go down so when they tell us they're going to raise interest rates that would have been a clear indicator that everything would have came down as a way to kind of fight inflation we just use like, it as a lesson it's a lesson it's something it's lesson. Not coming because if you been following all the stories about interest rate hikes and and all of that jazz about the the u.s fed you would have seen it from around february march from november from november <laughs> so me yes. <laughs> yeah. see late february march is when it actually start happening you still have any money in the market <laughs> too much money in the market <laughs> <laughs> Only monies I have taken out of crypto in the last year is monies that I used to actually purchase a phone. And because most of my videos are recorded with my phone, I decided to use it. Outside of that, I haven't taken out any money. I've more been added money. When it crashed the other day, I bought a little bit. Yeah, I still have money in the market. Mm -hmm. Lost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. but just trying to find ways to make money from the downside so yeah a lot of plays that go up when the market is going down i'm looking into a lot of those mm -hmm. to try and trade the market downside if if you had like 20 to thirty thousand jamaican dollars how would you well, spend it in the market keeping it to the fundamental coins like ETH and bitcoin you have, you, you have a couple coins solana still have good utility so yeah. even though solana like really really plummet right now bro it, it, it has utility bro. 200 us dollars it, mm -hmm. it's not going to do anything for you in the market really you should probably invest in a way to make a lot more money because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you put two hundred dollars into Bitcoin, you need Bitcoin to go to forty thousand for you to make a uh, two hundred dollar for you to make a hundred percent on your two hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars can't do much for you. That probably can't even pay your rent. You need to invest in a way to try to make more money, learn mm -hmm. an income or a skill, yeah. something. But two hundred dollars not going to do it for you unless it's probably a leveraged trade or something. It's not like you buy a whole Bitcoin or. A are a couple bitcoin like you have let's say I put a hundred thousand in it and then possibility we can get an easy next hundred thousand yes you and you take that and do something that. real with it really you buy a, a like small real estate turn into a passive income <laughs> exactly <laughs> so you think now is a good time to invest then bro I, all right me personally i just bought a dip back right <laughs> Because I'm trying to go towards like just having like a full Bitcoin right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, listen, it's always a right. When the price is high, it's a right time. When the price is low, it's a right time. And then in a second, I, I look over and I look at the price of Bitcoin and it shoots to 100,000. And you're wondering, like, what happened? The price gone change. No, no, remember, nobody can predict what will happen. I'm um, thinking no. You need the economic environment 
for you to have things going up for you to make money on your investment so right now we might have more downside so probably just wait and just to watch the news pay a lot more attention use this time to study and understand what moves the market for anybody who wants to see malik's videos he has a youtube channel and i'll link it in this video in the description or you can find him on instagram and twitter one of the stocks boss them in the US space, so you can check him out. So if you want to see what daily post on his channel, his channel is Get Paid Daily. So check him out on YouTube and Instagram. Yo, good talk. Respect me. <laughs> now that we heard everything, it's time to buy. So the platforms that I will be using to buy cryptocurrency today are Coinbase and Kraken. So let's talk about Coinbase. Yes, it's possible for Jamaicans to use Coinbase. However, you have to use your NCB Visa card to make these purchases. Plus, they also have an offer if you refer a friend and that friend spends $100 in cryptocurrency, then you both get $10 in Bitcoin. The only downside with Coinbase is that it doesn't allow you to do withdrawals. So the best thing that you can do is if you buy an coinbase you can send that money over to an exchange like kraken where you can do your withdraw by doing a wire transfer now let's talk about kraken <laughs> with kraken you can buy cryptocurrency by sending money to your account by a wire transfer and you can do that wire transfer either by your bank or you can use the wise app also, Kraken does accept card purchases. However, you have to try your luck because it works with some of my Visa cards and it doesn't work with some. So try your luck. You might be one of those lucky persons. Plus, you can withdraw money from Kraken. You can do this by wire transfer. So you can do a wire transfer to your bank account or you can do the wire transfer using the WISE app. So play around with it and retrieve the money from WISE. And after the money is on your WISE account, you can withdraw it to your bank account or your Visa debit card. So we're going to start on the Coinbase app and we're going to use our NCB Visa card to make a purchase from Coinbase. So hopefully it goes through. So the first purchase that I want to make is I want to buy Bitcoin. I'm going to buy some Bitcoin. I'm going to purchase around 50, that's Jamaican dollars. Let me see if I have $5,000 on the card. Do, 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 do. Let me put in five, no, clear, clear, clear. 5,000 Jamaican dollars. Let me change the card. Let me add the card. I'm going to blur this out right now because I want to not thief my credit card information. Oh, can I just type it in? Still going to blur it out because I don't want to even my credit card information. And after you put in all of your credit card information for the postal code section, you can just put five zeros because it works in Jamaica. And preview by, let's we'll see if it go through. So that would be that, that, that in fees. Let me just screenshot it just in case because I want to upload it later to CoinMarketCap and that's where I track my cryptocurrencies buy now and the purchase was successful i like that i like that a lot so we can go and show details and then it tells you everything about the purchase and then you can either screenshot that to save it for your records now that we're done with coinbase let's move over to kraken to show you that it is possible to buy bitcoin over there also releasing the kraken <laughs> always crap me up every time i hear them say that so we're going to purchase some Ethereum over here because that's what I'm really interested in. Ethereum. So we're going to buy Ethereum. We're going to use the same NCB card and also Kraken now accepts US dollars so your orders won't be converted to Euro anymore. It will be converted to US dollars. So let's say we want 20 US dollars of Ethereum. I want to use not my US balance but I want to add a card. So I want to add this card. I'm going to blur it out. So it says card is saved and ready to be used. Tap anywhere to dismiss. So let's go back to that purchase. I want to buy $20 worth of ETH. Let me just screenshot this for records. Swipe and continue. Please go through, please go through. Transaction declined. All right, so it seems like the card isn't being accepted in Kraken. Maybe the card is broke. 
So let's try another one. So one last card. We're going to try this one. It's another Visa card and let's see if it goes through. I've been telling you sometimes it had this problem. So if you don't want to go through that, just wire the money to your Kraken account and the purchase is seamless. Card added. So let's do a purchase. We're going to do the same $20 purchase. I want to use this card and I want to review. Swipe to purchase. Let's see what happens. Successfully bought. Success. It went through. So yeah, man. So it can be used with some Visa cards. Just be sure to keep on trying. Call your bank and tell them to let you the purchase. That was the NCB card again. So sometimes you have to just call them and let them know that you're going to make a purchase. So I have $84 on the platform. I'm going to use that to buy another $50 of Ethereum because I believe in it. So we're going to buy $50 of Ethereum using the budget on the platform because I already sent over some money on the platform. So let's buy $50 and we want to use the USD balance and we're going to screenshot for records, swipe to confirm. And just like that, crypto was bought. <laughs> what else should we buy in this portfolio? I think I'm going to buy some Avalanche. Let me click on the Avalanche. I'm going to buy some of these. I'm going to buy some Avalanche and I'm going to buy what's left on this card? $30. Let's buy $30 of Avalanche using the USD balance on the platform. Screenshot for records keeping. Avalanche added to the portfolio. Easy does it. I like it. And that's it for the purchases. Going on forward, I'll be dollar cost averaging slowly into the crypto market and building up my positions in the currencies that I own. Now for something special. If you want a free 250 Jamaican dollars, then click the link down below and sign up to link. They're giving away $250 for each person that you refer. So use the code on screen to claim your reward. If you want to buy some cryptocurrencies and follow me on this crypto journey then use the links down below in the description and a sign up for kraken or coinbase as always thank you for liking my content sharing and subscribing to the channel but if you haven't rang that notification bell it's not too late just click that little bell until it goes ding -a ding -a ding <laughs> until next time happy investing